Not just sitting there either. Just because I have my glasses off doesn't mean I can't see. I'm not that blind. You done, Austin? Oh, yeah. I couldn't hear what you were saying. Could, could any of you hear what she was saying? No, no one heard what you are saying, so you're good. Okay, so, 39. The 8 has to be squared, and the C5th has to be squared. 8 squared is 64. You're going to multiply, you get C to the 10th. Okay. Now, 41. This looks um, pretty simple. Problem is, how do I raise the negative to the fourth power? It is. It's supposed to be a negative one. The one's invisible. Good job, Vaughn. 41. That was second 41. Yeah, I realized that earlier. Then you raise the C to the fifth to the fourth power. Then you raise the h to the 6th to the 4th power. Now, I'm not sure if anyone ever taught you this. One, you want to put this in your calculator with parentheses if you do it with the calculator. But an even number makes the negative go away. Because negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. These are positive 1. Positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. But if I had an odd number, the negative would stay in my answer. Because a negative times a negative is a positive, but a positive times a negative is a negative. So you can look at the exponent to see if your answer is going to be positive or negative. If it's even, it's positive. If it's odd, it's negative. Okay. And it's still, you can still use the same rule for something like this. You can use the rule. Okay, that's even, so that's going to go away. So now all I have to do is just 2 to the 4th. Or uh, that's 3 makes that an, uh, a negative, so I know I'm going to have a negative. All I have to do is 2 to the 3rd. So there's a couple little tricks. I found out from last period that I don't think they really teach that much. I like those tricks. So negative 1 to the 4th power we found out was 1. 5 times 4 is 20. 6 times 4 is 24. And remember, you do not need the one in front of it. Okay. Questions? Okay, we're going to do try 42. All right. Oh, okay. Yep, nice. Emily, ninth grade office. Yeah, shoes would be great.
Okay. So you have negative 15 to the third, h to the ninth to the third, k to the seventh to the third. So what's negative 15 to the third power? What'd you get? Kill them? Okay, so negative 3,375. And then multiply to get 27, and multiply to get 21. Okay. Some of them may require more than one step. You may have to use more than one rule in the problem. 43 is an example. Notice how you have to use the power to power rule first. You've got to multiply your exponents. So you get 9 times 5 is 45. And 3 times 2 is 6. But then I have two like bases. I can't have two of the same base. So what do I got to do my exponents now? Add them. Okay, so we're going to be getting more into those tomorrow that you're going to require more than one rule in it. Okay. Okay, so we've done some of those. We're going to go over and do some of these now. These are the quotient ones. Everyone's on the right page. Again, even though it's a division problem, the exponent goes to the top and the bottom. These are different variables, so I can't simplify them at all. Okay. And even if we look at 63, the 5 has to be squared, the C has to be squared, and the D squared has to be squared. So 5 squared is 25, C squared is C squared. And on the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. Go ahead and try 64. See what you do with it. 